Hey friends, Gator Mom here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having an awesome day. Today I'm going to be walking through this gorgeous home base binder from Simplify. So those of you that follow me over on Instagram have probably heard me talk about this home base binder. I am a huge fan. I've done a brief little flip through over there and have shared it from time to time, but a lot of you wanted to see a more detailed review, what the pages look like, what the binder comes with, and all of that here on YouTube. So today I'm gonna go ahead and walk through the binder with you and explain it in a little bit more detail. So the binder itself is $48 on the Simplified website. It comes with this gorgeous navy linen binder and the inserts I'm going to show you today. Now you can also go to their free printable section because there's a ton more printables that you can use possibly in your home base binder. The actual binder is just a standard three hole punch so you can put anything you want inside this binder. You can really customize it and make it super functional for your family. I've gone ahead and taken out everything that I've used so far in the binder so it's just like a clean slate for me to show you today because I have been using it now for the past couple of weeks and I love it. So like I said, the actual binder is this navy linen binder and then you have gold foil lettering and gold um, like corner stops over there on the side. When you open up the binder, it has the classic simplified colors. It's so happy looking. I love it so much. You have the polka dots here and then you have one um, big paper type folder over here to put anything that you need. I tend to keep like loose recipes in here if I wanna put them in my recipe binder or I'll put invoices I need to pay or bills, stuff for the kids' school. Um, tons fits inside this little pocket over here. So on to what comes inside, the different pages and the dividers. You have six dividers over here. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, they're all the different colors of the rainbow, like the simplified colors. On the front here, you have a home page that you can write all of your personal information. It just has a place for you to put your name, things like that. Then when you flip through, you come to the table of contents, which is gonna list everything inside the binder. And then you come to your very first divider. This one is labeled family. And after this divider, it has a couple of different pages. The first one here is a perpetual calendar. You have a place here that you can write birthdays, anniversaries, dates that you obviously don't wanna forget. It has the entire year at a glance for you. Then on the next page in the family section, you have an emergency information. This is great if you have babysitters or if you just need to get something really quickly. You have a place here for family cell phone numbers, for doctors, neighbors, other important information. And then over here, you have in case of an emergency. So it's big and open and you can really customize it to whatever you need. So that there is the last page in the family section. You can definitely, like I mentioned before, put so much more information in here if you wanna put um, additional information that's just specific to your family, this would be a great tab to do that in. Then moving on, you have a section right after for contacts, which I think is perfect, because whatever family information you don't have listed there, you can go ahead and put in your contact section. So this one here is home and repair. You have a spot here for business cards, for any type of home things that you need. If there's a handyman, if there's a um, maybe like a home warranty information or, I mean, the possibilities really are endless, but it's a place that you can glue in those business cards if need be. And then you go right into friends and family. There's a spot here. It's almost like a built-in address book. I know a lot of us don't really keep address books anymore. This is a great spot to keep all of your close friends and family's addresses for Christmas cards or invitations and things like that. You can have one like hub place that you can find all of that right when you need it. I know that's something every year I struggle with, like trying to gather or find or update whenever I do that. So you have a couple of pages for contacts. Again, you can print another one of these off of the Simplified website if you need additional ones. Then you come into the next section here, which is the fun bright yellow color, and it is labeled projects over there in gold. And behind the project section, you have a ton of pages, just blank pages. They're all the same here. Um, but there's a section here that says um, details and then to do. So this is like 
very, very vague in what you can use this for. I have been using mine for a couple of different home repair projects that we're doing in the house. Um, we're getting like our house currently painted right now. So I have different color swatches in here and different names of the different paints and um, quotes from painters, all of that kind of stuff. But you can really use this for whatever you need to use it. If you're doing something maybe with the kids project wise, something that you're creating, if there's photo albums that you're doing, you can kind of keep all that information in here. It's just a really open section for you to keep all of the things that you're currently working on for your home. Then the next section is one of my favorites. It is the meal plan section and that is in green. And you have a bunch of these papers already printed out for you. Again, like I said, you can totally print out more from the Simplified website, but I love, love this layout and I love their meal planning notepad. I have used that a ton, but what's cool about this is you have all of your meals and your groceries in one spot. So if you are trying to plan on a Sunday to do that, like Walmart grocery pickup order, whatever you're doing online, you can grab this and you can get ideas from what you've done in the past all in one section. So you have a place here for you to write what week it is. Then you have a Sunday all the way through Saturday. So a block for every day of the week where you can like meal plan out. You can write down for kids lunches, anything that you want to do in here. And then over here, it's just a big white box for you to write everything for grocery shopping, which is awesome because if you want to kind of like organize it by the area in the store, if you forget something, you can throw it back at the top. It's just a really open area for you to get messy with it and really organize what you're doing for meal planning. I find this section really helpful um, in my world. <laughs> The next divider is in this gorgeous teal color and it is the finance section. This is another one that I really love in this binder because you can add everything you need in here. If you have recurring bills that you just want to kind of punch in here, if you have um, different um, estimates or bank statements, anything that you want to put in this section, you have a couple of pre-printed um, sheets that already come with it and it is a place to organize your monthly budget and your goals. So up here at the top, it says our monthly spending plan. There's a place to write what month you're in. There's a column for expenses, estimated amount that you're going to spend, and then the actual amount that you spent. A couple of these are already um, pre-labeled, if you will, inside here, but then there is a couple of blank spots for you to add in anything else that you need. So you have a section here for home, for electricity, all kind of like common household bills, a section for cars and a section for other, which are things like groceries and um, items like that. So a couple of things are already in there and then you have a couple of blank ones there as well. Then over here to the side, another section that I really love is a place for you to put your monthly plans and your goals. So if you know that you have that family vacation coming up, if you have a birthday, if it's a holiday month, you can go ahead and budget over here for those additional items that you don't typically have on a monthly basis. So that's what's there in the finance section. Then the very last section probably has to be my favorite section of this home base binder. Maybe not the most utilized, which maybe it should be, but it is my favorite and it is the heart. I think that it's so special to kind of make this a priority and see it every day and know that you need to kind of focus on certain things that are in this section. You can add so much in here. It already has a place here for a family bucket list. So that's something that could be really fun for you to sit down with your family and kind of plan out for the year. You can also have anything relating to say trips or vacations or things coming up that's planned. Um, anything that's really special to you that you want to make sure you have organized in your family hub binder. Um, you can really add it in this particular section. If there's things relating to the kids, maybe you have school things that you want to add in here. So it's really however you want to make it um, fit your lifestyle. So that is the home base binder. I hope I did a good job of really explaining the binder to you guys. I think I mentioned earlier in this video um, but the actual binder itself is $48. It comes with the um, navy linen binder as well as I think there's 82 pages and the dividers over here on the side. If you um, run out of pages and you don't want to print them out, if you just really like this particular paper that it comes on, you can actually buy refills for the book um, as well and not have to pay for the um, entire binder in and of itself. So there you have it. If you guys have any questions, as always, feel free to leave them below. I love this product. I highly recommend it. 
Um, I think it's worth every penny and it just makes organizing things for the home super easy. So I will talk to y'all on my next video. Have a great rest of your day.